What is God complex? God, no, not God's complex, God complex. <laughs> That's two different meanings in English. God's complex and God complex. God's complex would mean that God has a complex and God complex is something that humans have, like they think they are God. And that's a complex because it's like a psychological issue. If you think you're God, it's a problem. I kind of only put that title because um, I couldn't think of another. So that just sort of came up and um, that's what got put on there, God complex. Um, but I don't know if I really want to talk about that. So what is God's com God complex is basically um, it's a complex of superiority or narcissism where you think that you are God. Um, it could be a form of mental illness as well, where you think you're God and that you're above all other human life because you're God. Like that you are God. You as the person, as the character is God. And, um, and that's what a God complex is. Now that might sound like somebody that's in non-duality because you might hear them say, I am God, or this is God, or you are God. Um, so it sounds similar to maybe a God complex, but it's not a God complex, because if you really understand non-duality, then there's nobody that thinks they are God. There is only God acting. God moving my mouth, God looking out my eyes, God moving the hand, God creating the light, God creating the chair, God creating the sofa, God creating the pillows, God creating the colours. All of it is God. God creating you hearing my voice, God creating um, you seeing me, God creating everything. Everything is source. So let me tell you what God is. God is everything and no one thing. So everything and nothing. Um, some speakers call it consciousness. As long as there's a seeing that consciousness isn't separate from all things. Consciousness isn't separate from that which it's conscious of. So God isn't conscious from everything that appears. So everything that appears. And that means that there is no consciousness because everything is consciousness. Consciousness is the very appearance of everything. So then you come down to who you are is everything and no thing, which is really beautiful. So right now there is emptiness looking out of your eyes, not a person. The person is being looked at, the person is being experienced, but the person isn't looking. So what looks out of your eyes is not a thing. And this is where freedom is because there's nothing that suffers. Nothing suffers. There is nothing which is being hit by life. There is nothing which is being tormented or treated badly because who you are is no thing, not a thing and everything. The character can be treated good or bad and have pain and pleasure, but that's not who's experiencing. That's an illusion that that character is experiencing. That character is a play happening. It's something that comes and goes and is always changing and growing and evolving and de-evolving, but it's not an experiencer. When that person is taken to be an experiencer, then suffering appears because then it feels like life is happening to someone. And then that someone has to carry the weight of life and all the woes and suffering and pain 
and it begins to identify more and more with all the good and bad things that happen. So that by the time it's in its 40s, it feels weighed down by life because it's owning life. Whereas who you are doesn't own life. Who you are is this brilliant, radical freedom that cannot be touched, that cannot be affected by anything that happens. And trust me, this is so important to see when your younger life, um, not that many things happen, but as you age, more and more things happen. If you keep identifying with them, by the time you're in your 50s, 60s, you're going to be so weighed down and disappointed by life because you believe it's happening to you and that you own those events and that you're not freely looking at life. You're looking at life through all the things that have happened to you, which is too heavy. It's like walking around with rocks. You are free. Who I'm speaking to now has never been affected by anything. Who's listening now has never been affected by anything. The person that interprets it's been affected. But this is an ever-changing thing. It's a habit that's appearing, but not an experiencer. You are free. Now, the God complex is that person, that one that's being experienced, believing it is God. So it's a person that believes it's God. It believes it's the experiencer. It believes it's separate and it thinks, I am God. And that's, if you think you're God, then you've missed the point. The person, ultimately, everything is God. So, of course, the person's God too, but the person doesn't exist. It's not a separate entity that can own God. It's a part of God. So that person can't claim to be it, although it is God, it can't be claiming to be it more than anything else. It's it's not a solid entity. The person is something that comes and goes, comes and goes and comes and goes and is always changing. And that person owning God is somebody trying to be solid and being something. And you aren't something. You aren't something. who you truly are. Now, I know this might be confusing. So what you could do is you could rewatch this video afterwards again and again and again and just listen to that little bit. bit. And that says everything. If you ever watch um, my videos, that part says everything. It says everything. Waking up is an energetic expansion. Waking up to me or enlightenment, although there's nobody that gets enlightenment, whatever you want to call it is um, an energetic expansion. The person is limited and contracted and feels like it owns life and every experience it has, it's like, (laughs) you do something good, you do something bad, somebody else does something bad, you break your leg, you get a scar, you have a child, And the person becomes more and more more full of itself, believing that that's who it is. Whereas who you are is no thing. Who you are is none of those things. Anything that happens in, in life doesn't belong to you. It's not yours. It's just the happening. It's everything. It's who you truly are. It belongs to that no thing and that everything. But the person, and then it becomes an entity that, interacts with life like poof, poof, poof. get out of my way here I come I'm coming and everything bumps against it because it's so solid and full of itself but who you are nothing can touch you whatever experience who you are the experiencer of this life doesn't own anything it's free so something terrible happens and it's free. It didn't happen to you. It's a happening, but it didn't happen to you. So it's free to be as it is, to be experienced as it is. It's hard to talk about. You are free. All the problems that you have don't belong to you. They're not your problems. 
because you are this instant which is always here, this presence which is always here. And that person comes and goes and cries because it lost its lover and then it's gone. That's not something that happened to you. You're not someone that lost their lover. That's a character that comes and goes. And when you think about your lover being lost, then that's the experience and then it passes and then you're not someone that's lost a lover. You are free of any title. You are titleless. You do not have a title. You are nothing, not a thing. And equally, everything. Emptiness appearing as form. The formless. And person's like, oh, I'm the formless. And that's the God complex. I'm God. Mm. Hello, everybody. If you could just listen to me, I'll just like to tell you I'm God. You guys haven't realized you're God. You guys are kind of semi-God because you're God, but you don't know you're God, you know. And I am God. And I can sleep with all the young women. I can sleep with all the young men because I am God. And I don't have to apologize because I am God. The character is God. Mm. 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 I am God. I love you, baby. Yep, bum bum I can't do it with the other eyebrow, so I can go like that. And then it's like, there's no feeling the other side. Okay, we'll take some questions now.